No, strike that. I need your help. Good evening, and welcome to the Born Stuntacular, the newest groundbreaking attraction here at Universal Orlando Resort. I'm Patrice, and tonight I'll take you behind the scenes of the newest experience inspired by the blockbuster Bourne film franchise. You'll hear from the creators of this cutting edge stunt show that blurs the lines between stage and cinema. And you'll get your first look right here at this new hybrid form of entertainment that's never been done before. To start, Let's meet Deb Bynat, Vice President of Entertainment at Universal Orlando Resort. Hi, Patrice. I'm excited to be here with you on this massive stage. Deb, tell us a bit about what fans can expect when they come see the Bourne Suntacular. You know, at Universal Orlando, we are really known for our ability to immerse our guests in really incredible environments. In this case, the world of Jason Bourne. We took those intense storylines, combined them with extreme stunts, groundbreaking technology, practical effects, so we could create the excitement that is the Bourne film franchise right in front of the audience. Deb, this sounds amazing. It really is, and it takes a really talented team to pull this off. We got the best in the business to come together to do just that. We worked with our brothers and sisters at Universal Creative and Universal Pictures, alongside the wonderful people at the Ludlam Estate, and then got with Action Horizons, a premier stunt company out of Hollywood, California. They are well known for their work with blockbuster movies and, and really popular television shows. We traveled back and forth to Pennsylvania, where Tate has their headquarters. They did all of our moving parts. They did all our staging and scenic. This screen behind us will be filled with images developed by Cinesite Studios in Canada, and they look so real. It's almost, it's almost unreal how real this looks. But it all started three years ago with our friends at Renaissance Entertainment. We work with them a lot because they really understand how vital good storytelling is to everything we do here at Universal Orlando. Let's actually bring in Lisa Ina Smith from Renaissance Entertainment to talk about the story. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Patrice. Hi, Hi. Deb. Hi. Lisa, your team partnered with Universal Orlando to write the story that became this amazing show. What goes into creating an original storyline that takes place within the Bourne universe? Well, we did partner really closely with Universal Entertainment and creative teams. And from the very beginning, we had this big idea that we wanted to create an original story. And we were so fortunate we got to partner with the producer of the Bourne films, mm -hmm. the legendary Frank Marshall, wow. who was amazing. And he shepherded <laughs> our concept so that we were able to have this authentic original storyline that exists within the Bourne universe. And we got to work with the fabulous Julia Stiles, who played Treadstone agent Nikki Parsons in the films. Fans will love seeing Julia Stiles again. They will, and she's actually the one who briefs us before we enter the show. Well, let's take a look at that. Here's a peek behind the scenes of Julia filming for the Born Stuntacular. Quiet, please. Roll camera. Action. We're filming for the Born Stuntacular at Universal Orlando. Our EVS technology will be piggybacking onto the new op center at Langley. I'm reprising my role as Nikki Parsons, introducing the audience to the show and briefing them on what their mission is. It's really exciting to see the Bourne films come to life at a theme park. I'm part of a show at Universal Studios. This is amazing. I never thought that I would be doing that. There'll be a whole new storyline. He's in Dubai! Audiences that are familiar with the franchise and the movie will get to see something new. This concludes your briefing. Now, your mission? Find Bourne. So you have a new Bourne story to tell. Then you turn it into the most technologically advanced action stunt show ever. I imagine all of this has something to do with that. So tell me what we're looking at right now. So these are three of our moving set pieces. We have eight total. These three are used in a chasing that happens in the Tangier marketplace. Really? But we're actually surrounded by all kinds of advanced technology. These set pieces without a track are gonna move out onto the stage. And once they're there, they even move more to stay in sync with what's going on on the screen before coming back here parking in their home position and recharging between shows. Wow. Behind them is our screen. It is 28 feet tall, 130 feet wide, and has over 5,000 panels to bring those images to our audience. Also downstairs below us, you rode up on a lift earlier. We have more equipment down there. It not only brings up our performers, 
but also some more of our set pieces. There's one lift right in the center of the stage that is 20 feet wide. It brings up two vehicles seven feet in the air to the stage level and then can spin them 280 degrees in a matter of seconds. It's absolutely amazing. Practical effects too, we wanna to make sure that our audience can feel the wind of the helicopter, the flames from the fire. So we want them to not only see the action, but feel it too. So you have technology, moving sets, live stunts. Yep. This is jumping off the screen. Absolutely, and a big part of that is our performers. What they have to do is so physically demanding. They are running and climbing and falling all over the place. Wow. But they have to, it's born, and it wouldn't be a born story without incredible chase scenes and bruising fist fights. Well, to learn a little more about these live action stunts, let's go out front to meet our next guest. Hi, I'm Johnny Donahue, one of the stunt coordinators for the Born Stuntacular. Now, it's taken an incredible team of stunt performers and fight coordinators to build this show. Now, on that team are Hollywood vets from the most popular action films and TV shows of all time. The challenge presented by Universal Orlando was to bring what we do on film to the stage. Now, here are some of our building blocks we use, the basic punch and the basic kick. Now, this is the way we teach them. Now, behind me, I have Mitchell and Jonathan. There are a couple of talented performers in the show. I'll walk you through the process. Here we go. Come on over here, guys. So, the basic punch. Most important, eye contact between the two performers. Also, if Mitchell does a poor reaction, it won't work, right? So let's do a punch with a poor reaction. Obviously, that's not believable. Jonathan was not even near his head. Mitchell didn't match the energy that was coming at him. So now, let's do the punch again with a proper reaction. Perfect. Now let's do the kick, the basic kick, roundhouse kick. Right. Not a great reaction from Mitchell. Now let's do it with a proper reaction. All right. So now we're going to change the angle. The camera is the audience. We're going to change the angle to sell these hits. Nice and slow. Now let's do it at show speed. Nice, nice work, that looked great. So now we're gonna move on to the leg takedown that's in one of the fights. Nice and slow. We have a punch. We have a nice leg, slow leg takedown. And a kick. Perfect, great. So now we always do everything slow to make sure that we're comfortable with each other and we feel safe. And now we're gonna do it show speed. Go ahead, guys. Nice. Great job, guys. Now, please remember, these are highly trained professionals. Do not try this at home with your little brother. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Well, we have one last special guest for you tonight. Academy Award winner Frank Marshall, producer of The Bourne Film. Nice. Good evening, and thanks so much for having me tonight. I wish I could be there in person, but I'm hunkered down here in a CIA safe house somewhere in Los Angeles, and they haven't given me the code to get out yet. But I'm really excited for all of you because you are about to experience something like you've never experienced before with a new storyline and a show deep within the world of Jason Bourne. It's been so rewarding to work closely with the Universal Orlando team and create this experience that is so authentic to the Bourne franchise, including tracking down some of the actual vehicles and props that we used in the movies. But the most fun was after many months of collaborating together, I got to come down there to Orlando and meet with the team. And then we watched the show together several times and made a couple of tweaks. But I can now truly say that the Bourne Stuntacular not only stays true to the essence of the movies, but also delivers next level action that will make you feel like you are right by Jason Bourne's side in the middle of another crazy action sequence. So enjoy the show and stay safe.
you for joining us for this virtual sneak peek of the Born Stuntacular. Come experience it for yourself. Starting tomorrow, June 30th, only at Universal Orlando Resort.